I go to the movies. Yeah. And this movie, it was at the Ragtag Cinema. And it was a movie that I never really watched before. I th but I've seen, like, clips of it, you know? And I've definitely seen people talk about this movie. And uh, I've definitely listened to a lot of so the songs from the soundtrack because it's one of the more famous soundtracks from the 90s. <laughs> but uh, the movie, it was called David Leach Drives Down the Lost Highway. The movie. And uh, <laughs> so this movie is weird. But that's not uh, surprising because it's the, the Leach guy. He makes the weird movies, such as Blue Velvet and Eraser Heads, that sort of thing. And uh, <laughs> so, yeah, um, the movie it kind of it switches things up on you. It doesn't explain anything. I don't understand how any of this works. So, <laughs> the movie starts off with the man. He plays the saxophone like a crazy fool. <laughs> and he has a girlfriend and she is naked sometimes. This movie has lots and lots of nudity. <laughs> Too much, I would say. It's unnecessary. <laughs> but uh so the mo oh, but the movie is beautiful. Like just ev it's like every scene is a work of art, visually, you know. But, uh, the dialogue <laughs> has a bit to be desired. It gets more laughs than it should. You know, I think, I don't think the movie's supposed to be funny. But people are, like, laugh throughout this whole movie. <laughs> the theater was, like, half full. So, and the people laugh a lot. <laughs> and, so, you know... There's a creepy dude without eyebrows. I don't know if he's supposed to be the devil or if he's... Okay, spoilers, this movie's real old. <laughs> he's supposed to be the devil or he's supposed to be a vampire or I don't know what's going on. But he seems to have some sort of magical power that can make people switch bodies or something. I don't know. Because I, I didn't know anything about this going into the movie. Like I said, I only really knew about the soundtrack. <laughs> so... They get these these videotapes, right? And they get creepy messages. And the videotape is like of their house. And they, they're like, someone's videotaping us. This is, we can't have this. They have the cops come over. The cops are hilarious. <laughs> that sort of thing. So, <laughs> but then in the last videotape, it's like, oh, it turns out this character, main character, has killed his girlfriend. He's like, cut her legs off and, or something. It's like, what? And he's like, he doesn't remember doing it. That's her thing. But it's on videotape. So the cops throw him in jail. But they never investigate who videotapes this. The person who's breaking in their house and videotaping things. But <laughs> anyway. So he's in jail. And some weird stuff's going on. And somehow he switches bodies. And we now we have a completely different movie from this point on. <laughs> and it's a bit, it's like longer. So it's like that first part, you think that this is, the movie's going to be about this guy, but then we switched it up. <laughs> and, uh, and it's a younger guy who kind of looks like a young Charlie Sheen. But, uh, so he's in the other guy's jail cell and this is like, Breaks out the people that work at the prison. They're like, what? How did you get in there? Where'd the other guy go? That sort of thing. So he goes back to work. And Richard Pryor is in this movie. You know, he's on like a rascal scooter. And he's like managing this uh, this auto body shop that this kid works at. Kid, I don't know, was in his 20s or something. So he's got his group of friends. His dad is Nick Nolte. <laughs> Or, or Gary Busey. Yeah, I don't know. One of those guys. One of those guys that's just a crazy person now. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so, so... But there's, like, this mobster guy. who He's a he's a famous actor, too. I don't remember his name. 
but he's like taking this kid under his wing or something. It's it's all weird. They go on a drive, and what ensues is one of the funniest scenes I've seen in a long time. I think this was supposed to be funny. Now, the scene it's not as crazy as the that guy from Blue Velvet, his crazy screaming rants. But this guy, this monster guy, goes on a screaming rant because this guy like was tailgating him and then flipped him off. So he chases him down, he pushes him off the road, and he starts beating him up with his gun. And, and he's giving him this, this screaming lecture about safe driving. <laughs> and it's one of the funniest things I've seen in a long time. So, <laughs> so there's that. But then, you know, it's like this... So the kid that looks like Charlie Sheen, he's got a, he's got a girlfriend. And, uh... Huh, my camera's gonna die. But I'll be done with this pretty soon. The... <laughs> he's got a girlfriend, but then he meets this other girl. And, you know, he's like, oh, we're gonna be in love. And all this other sort of stuff or whatever. So there's all this this awkwardness and stuff. But then it, it's like, she's like, I was in the pornos. And he's like, oh, oh no. But then he's like, I love you anyway. She's like, let's go rob this guy. And it ends up being a guy that the other guy was at a party of his from, from the beginning of the movie. The guy that went to jail for killing his girlfriend. So, it's like, we gotta, so... The Charlie Sheen guy and the, the blonde girl, she's like, that was in the pornos. She's like, we got to beat this guy up and steal all his stuff. Then we'll take it to a, a guy. And then we'll run away together. You know, because we're in love. That sort of thing. But, uh. So, the guy gets there. And he sees the porno that his girl was in. You know, and it's freaking him out. And then the guy comes down. I don't know. This I think this is a famous actor, too. Kind of reminds me of the guy, the singer from Sugar Ray. <laughs> but I don't think it was him. It might have been him. I don't know. But then it kills him. And it's a gruesome. It's a gruesome death. <laughs> but then, you know. But then the Charlie Sheen kid, he's got these. He's starting to get headaches and all this. So they drive out to the desert to a fence because they got to sell this stuff. And once you know it, it's the guy that's like the demon or the devil or the vampire or whatever this guy is. But anyway. <laughs> but before that, the the Charlie Sheen kid and the, the blonde girl, they do it in the, in the sand, in the dirt, in front of the car with the headlights. Not even worried anybody would see. When they're done, wouldn't you know it, the guy has changed back to the guy from the beginning of the movie. What? I don't understand this. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> so he goes and he he goes and he kidnaps the mobster. Oh, the mobster is the pornographer. That's how that ties in. He's the guy that made the blonde girl go into the pornos. So he beats him up. He brings him back out to the, the thing to kill him. I don't know. It's all weird. And then there's... I don't know. There's a weird police chase. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> and then the movie was over. <laughs> so. Lots of cool visuals. A little too much nudity. Awesome soundtrack. But I don't know what happened. I don't understand what happened. <laughs> Anyway, but the movie, it is pretty good if you're fine watching a movie where you don't really understand what's going on, <laughs> you know, but maybe other people do understand what's going on. I don't know. I, I think I need a flow chart for this one. <laughs> but anyway, all that, that's just my opinion. And my opinion doesn't matter, and your opinion doesn't matter. We just put our opinions on the internet. It's what we do as a culture. And no one knows why we do it, but we can't seem to stop. So, those are my thoughts and opinions. I've thrown them up on top of the thoughts and opinions pile. 
They will soon be buried by everybody else's thoughts and opinions. But for what it's worth, lost highway. That's pretty weird. <laughs>